Good afternoon, or morning, or evening. Maybe it's the middle of the night. Maybe you can't sleep. It's like three in the morning, and you gotta be at work at six. Or maybe you can't sleep because you're going to Hawaii like we are, and you're wondering, what do I pack? I have no idea, I've never been. What do I bring? Well, we'll tell you. Well, she's gonna lay it all out. She's gonna make list upon list upon list. So if you like lists and you like packing, this video could be for you. Also, I just want to add that I'm going to make this a downloadable file so that if this looks like something that might be helpful for you, you can download it yourself and then just use it to like, I don't know, start your list or base your list off of. But I think I covered everything in this. My suitcase. Oh! <laughs> Mama's suitcase! Don't throw your back out. <laughs> it ain't that heavy. So we've had these suitcases for quite a while. They're not like decades old, but I think we've had them for maybe like five years. They're still going strong. They're nothing like fancy, but they're not like cheap either. This is Tim's suitcase. We haven't really added too much to his yet because he's pretty easy. Um, but mine over here is pretty full. So we're gonna kind of show you what we're bringing and then maybe show you some of the outfits that we're going to take with us for dinner, for... Anywhere I go, tip number one, anywhere I go, I always bring hangers. Because when, when you stay at a hotel, what do they give you? Five? Maybe six? I don't, because usually my suitcase is too full to add hangers, and you can always ask the hotel for more. I ain't asking anybody for anything. <laughs> So, I don't know about you guys, but anytime Tim goes somewhere with the army, he always has this printed out packing list that they give him and he has to put everything in there and then he throws in a couple civilian outfits and he's good to go. So I figured if you guys are military, maybe you'd like a, a list to, to go off of or to start off of. So I've already kind of started, but here's my packing list. I kind of divided it into personal care items. And then I have some wellness items, which would be like vitamins or medicine or whatever um, kind of stuff like that. And then I've got hair products up here and then activity accessories. So that's stuff like a beach bag or insulated water bottle. For Hawaii, we have snorkel gear and wetsuit because we're going to be doing some things in the ocean. My camera bag. So if you guys vlog or if you are into just documenting your trip. Maybe these are some things that you want to take with you as well. And then I have a list for my carry-on, which I'm probably going to add to my camera bag. Travel documents. And then we get into our outfits. So I have a page of my outfits and a page of Tim's outfits. And I just broke it down by day so that, you know, we have the right kind of clothes for the right kind of activity. Okay, so Tim's back up here now, and he just found one of the packing lists that he uses. Or what is this from? Well, anytime we get to go anywhere for the military, they always send out a packing list, right? I guess... They don't trust you to remember everything? A lot of everything. people uh, have never been anywhere, and they need help packing, I guess. They'll tell us how many uniforms to bring. So, like, three sets of uniforms. OCPs is our uniform. Uh, sleeping bag. Underwear. Brown t-shirts. Bath towel. Summer like, PTs, winter PTs. Yeah, like... What's an L-B-E-F-L-I-C? So that's all of our gear. So it's like load-bearing equipment. It's a little okay. vest and pouches and... Anyway, well, it's rambling. If I get to Hawaii and I forgot something, well, I forgot it. Or I'll buy it there. And spend $20 more on it because Hawaii is expensive. Well, that's a lesson learned. Mm. <laughs> So we're doing something in the ocean. I don't know if I want to tell you yet. We'll let it be a surprise. Yeah, let it, let it be a surprise. Yeah. So. Because I still can't believe I'm doing it. Right? Yeah. I got a wetsuit. I tried it on. I'm not going to show you, right? Well, this we'll see thing, it in the video. Yeah, you'll They'll see, see it. it. You'll see it in the video. But I'm not putting it on right now. This thing is snug. Mm -hmm. Okay. I feel like a busted can of biscuits. <laughs> got to have flip-flops in Hawaii. Yep. And, and we're doing another activity where we're going to get kind of dirty. Yep, so so it was recommended that we have net gaiters. Yeah. So we just went to the Columbia Outlet Store and grabbed a couple there because they were buy one, get one or something. So we got those. And then... Oh, I did get a new shirt today. I ordered it from SavageTacticians.com. So did you see this on Instagram? I saw it on TikTok. 
Oh, you saw it on TikTok. Yeah. So he were he was influenced. Yeah. See the AK forty seven. Some guns, some pew pews. AK forty seven, bullets and flamingos. I think it's pretty awesome. It's it's pretty yeah. cute. So that's we gotta cool. we need some shorts to go with it. I guess you could just wear khaki with it. My wife bought me these shorts. I think I showed right you guys here. these actually in our Disney packing video. These are J. J. Crew stretch. So they have a little bit of give to them, okay? <laughs> uh, and they're like, they, they, they uh, repel water, mm -hmm. right? And they're just amazingly comfortable. I love these shorts. Anytime I look outside in the summertime, I'm off work, I'm putting these shorts on. <laughs> if they're clean, right? Um, she got on eBay and she bought me all the colors. <laughs> <laughs> well, so of course, you know, he finds this pair of shorts that he loves and then they don't have them anymore at J. Crew. So you, I searched all the outlets. I searched Amazon. I searched everywhere and I found some on eBay that were in his size. So I had to get all of the ones on there. And then I found some similar. So anyways, he has a lot of shorts. Yeah, full stack. <laughs> so that's basically <laughs> what he's going to be wearing. All we have to do is go through each day, like, oh, we're going to have dinner this day, or we're going to be outside hiking this day. So we just need to kind of figure out how many shorts, how many active outfits, and mm -hmm. that kind of thing that we need. So with this trip, I'm kind of a Ken doll, right? Ash will give me some suggestions, and uh, I'll pick from there what I want to wear. Okay? <laughs> a or B. <laughs> so. Well, he's usually, he wears uniforms to work right and then if you ask him to get dressed up he's gonna pick something gray with khaki pants or khaki shorts yeah. that's pretty much his spectrum i come along with the color and the patterns <laughs> and since we're going to hawaii i got these two shirts got a blue with feathers flowers flowers they're flowers, flowers they're just kind flowers. of like yeah it's a nice flowy yeah. light breezy all, shirt i love a flowy shirt and then I got this this pattern here, palm trees. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of nice. It's yeah. not too crazy. So these will need some shorts. Ah, these. No, nope, mm. not these. These ones. Mm -hmm. So that would be perfect with this blue shirt. So hold this up. <laughs> you could just try it on. I don't want to try it on. So that, that's an outfit. Yeah. That'll look good. Looks nice. Those be? Nope, not that. Nope, not that. See, that's probably my favorite. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Okay. Whatever, what is this material? What are these? It's like a nylon, nylon spandex. polyester spandex. It's like right? nylon spandex, These are yeah. cotton. Yeah. Cotton breathes. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I want to show them the picture outfits, like the dress that I'm going to wear, and then the outfit that you're going to wear with me. Which so go your green button-up shirt that we got at Banana. Let me go check the back. <laughs> Our closet's back there. <laughs> there he is. This one. It yeah. Looks more, you said green. It looks more blue. It's like a light green gray, it. but it'll look good with my dress, okay. which is in here. And what shorts go with these? White, those white satin ones. Oh, white satin. Mm -hmm. This one. Yeah. You mean satin? It's like a satin. It's not satin. straight on satin. It's like a, a blend. Okay. Okay, so I'm not going to unroll my whole dress, but this is basically the colors and the pattern. It's like a pink with this green leaf. Your uh, taste in colors is pretty good. Yeah. So, I mean, we're getting these pictures kind of in celebration of our anniversary. It's like our 10 year this year, and then mm -hmm. we're doing kind of like cream and flowers for Hawaii, and we're going to be on the beach, which is where we got married. We got married mm -hmm. in Florida on the beach, but it's still going to kind of be the same vibe, the same yeah. look. And then while we were in Castaway Key on our Disney cruise, I picked this shirt up. Yeah, we so got to bring this out. this one. You'll probably wear that at Alani. Yeah, so this will look good with pretty much a blue, a red, a blue. Let's see. Ya. Where's those red ones, the red shorts that you have that are not... Not like cherry red, but like... I have these. My Mitch Buchanan shorts. You actually haven't yeah. worn them yet. They still I have tags on them. Tag on them. No, they're Banana Republic. Are they? Mm-hmm. I just look at the tag. Banana they're like, Republic. They're deck. Doc shorts from oh, Banana Republic. They call them deck shorts. Deck, Doc, tomato, tomato. 
Wait, show them this one because we got this one in Hawaii on our honeymoon. Authentic Hawaiian shirt. Well, my first time in Hawaii. I'm gonna have to try it on. Oh. Because that says. Uh, that's an L. I need to. You got some in letters front in front of them. <laughs> in front of them L's now. And that's. Pretty and then much we, my outfits. we we need to pick out some like active wear for you, some just like gym shorts and t-shirts because we're gonna be doing some hiking. And you know what? That brings me to a very good point. You know, I have these uh, Under Armour athletic shorts. I call them basketball shorts. Mm -hmm. you know, they got pockets on them. But I was painting in them one day, and I got paint all over them. Um, so, like, I wear those shorts everywhere. Like, well, I wear those shorts quite often, but I can't take them. No, like... that's that's Hoosier, as <laughs> yeah. we say in the Midwest. That's Hoosier. You can't wear that. And we're, like, five days away from this trip, so. You do have some lounge shorts that are Hawaiian. Do you remember? Wait, we have this shirt too. Oh yeah. And you can, you got some pink swim trunks. So I think like you can wear that unbuttoned. Unbuttoned with some to pink. To the pool. With to a the... Mai Tai in my hand. Yeah. <laughs> Where's your pink swim trunks? Uh, give me this. <laughs> so I have neon green. Yes. Which I'm not, Put I them up next to next to these. You hate those? The next to these? Yeah. Next to that. Or. Oh yeah. This is gonna make me look tan. <laughs> I'm gonna call you Pink Lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be Tim's vacation name. All right, Tim set. Yeah. I just got to throw it in a bag and I'm done. <laughs> I need some underwears and some socks. I don't even need socks. Well, I'm wearing flip flops the whole time. We're going to go through the days, like what we're doing, because we need a Disney outfit, too. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Disneyland, yeah. like, no, theme I'm park. Good. I'll wear this one. So we need a comfy travel outfit. What are you going to wear on the plane? Oh. Oh, jeans? So. Because it's going to be a full day of traveling. I'm not wearing jeans. I'm not wearing jeans. How about those sweatpants? Nope. Well. Now, I'm just going to give you a warning, like a forewarning. I'm wearing comfy clothes, but they're kind of going to be cute, like vacation cute. It's not going to be sweatpants or leggings. What are you wearing? Like what the pants you got on? Like, they're similar to, like, I have like these baggy legged pants on. Bell bottom jeans. They're not bell bottoms. <laughs> they're just like the wide leg pants. So they're going to be that with like a shirt and then a an open button up shirt dress. But it has like a black and white Hawaiian print. Mm -hmm. And then my hat. Okay. So you can't be wearing sweatpants next to me. Oh. <laughs> you have to at least get on my level. Just comfy cute is what I mean. That's what I was saying. Like, I, I don't these. Best Keep one. that for your travel day to come home. But then, like, if we land, I don't want to be wearing these if it's 80 degrees. I don't want to be wearing shorts. There we go. That's the shorts I was talking about. Those are some good these lounge. These are large. My lord. They're wide. They're comfy. Good for lounging. All right. Good for eating. Yeah. <laughs> I do that well. <laughs> So, we, we were talking the other night, um, this excursion we're going to be doing, you can't be more than 250 pounds. If you are, you have to notify the people so they can bring an extra person on, because you're like, get, you're getting in the water, right, and you might need help getting back up on the boat. And Well, they just have to have a second safety. Yeah, a second safety. Yeah. So, I was like, well, I better go weigh myself. <laughs> So I did, and, uh, well. Don't feel bad about this, I and do. nobody watching should feel bad about this number either, because I feel like, and I'm not trying to, like, glorify, you know, obesity or anything like that, but this day and age, 250 is... 250 is the new 200. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I mean, I, I don't want to say average, but it's more common than not. I'm bigger than I want to be. When I get back, I'm going on the whole this whole diet thing, and you're, you can follow along with that. Ooh, you just put it out there, did. didn't you? But 
there's other there's things that I'm not going to stop doing. Okay, I'm just saying that. There's stipulations to the stipulations. <laughs> there's stipulations to my diet. We're going to be taking care of ourselves much more than we have been lately. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Anyways, okay, <laughs> let's let's move on. We want to make sure we have like a jacket or a hoodie too because there could be some cool mornings because we're going to be going to California or to uh, Disneyland also and it may not be as warm there. We need a luau outfit because we're going to a luau. Oh, what happened to my beads? Right here. There they are. There they are. Gotta have these. Are they like, they're nuts, right? What are these called? I don't remember. Um... Women get flowers, men get these. And I'm not supposed to put them on. Your significant other is supposed to put them on your neck. But then I actually found what I bought that day too. Do you remember these? I do. I got these. I don't know what they are. I wish I, they're like a shell of some kind. I don't know, but I'm gonna wear these to the luau. They're super long, but I'll loop them around a couple times. Action. Okay, so we're going to show you what I have in my suitcase now. I found this on Amazon because I'm not going to take my whole purse. I'm just going to have this and then put my phone in it, maybe my IDs and stuff like that. But I don't want to lug around a whole purse in Hawaii, so I figured this would be nice and light. I found these on Amazon, which I didn't need, but I've been looking for a good pair of wooden sunglasses. I don't know why, but I have just wanted some. And I found these, I think it's oak, but they're handmade, they're polarized, and they're ridiculously light. And there's no nose piece, so I can put them on my head, and they won't get stuck in my hair. I really like them. I think they're cute. The brand is Cloudfield. And I think they have different colors and shades too to pick from. So I'll try to link that below if you're interested. We also need to make sure that we have reef safe sunblock or sunscreen, which we could get there, but I feel like it's gonna be more expensive. So we just went ahead and found some here. This is Alba Botanica Hawaiian sunscreen, and it is free of oxybenzone and octinoxate. I don't know, but it's water resistant and it smells like coconut. If we run out of this, I'm sure the PX will have some too at Halekoa. Here's my Colombian Net Gator. I have an umbrella because I'm sure we're going to hit rain at some point there. If you guys follow us on Instagram, I post a lot of this kind of stuff, so you may have already seen it. However, Disney and Lily Pulitzer collaborated last summer to make a line of all of these really cute prints. And then I got the backpack to match. So I thought this would be nice for... Anytime we go like to the beach. So I thought this print was really cute though because if you see Minnie right here She's got a little glass of orange juice and If you don't know Lily Pulitzer actually started With a juice truck that was her her business and she used to get stains on her dresses all the time So she wanted to come up with something to wear that wouldn't show the stains so much and so she made these like dresses with all these like vivid colors and wacky designs to kind of camouflage the stains. People started liking it so much and asking her where she got it. She was like, oh, I made these. And then that's kind of what started Lily Pulitzer. So it all started, it all started with a juice stand, as they say. So I'll have that cute dress. I don't know if I'm going to wear it out anywhere because it's pretty thin and see-through. So it might just be like a sleep dress. Yeah. Or or a cover-up or something like that. However, I did have to get the matching backpack too because it's super cute and it's like a nylon kind of a material so it'll be water repellent and I thought this would be good to take to the beach or if we go on a hike. It's smaller and light and bright and cute. So, so I'd like to interject something here. Uh, if you don't know, Ash was a very avid Baywatch watcher, right? We mentioned so, this in another video. We did. So we plan on going to the no North Shore to see Baywatch area, whatever it is. Not just Baywatch. It was Baywatch Hawaii. Right. With Jason Momoa. Yes. Yeah. I wasn't like a, you know, Mitch Buchanan 
like Los Angeles Baywatch fan. It's specifically the Baywatch Hawaii <laughs> episodes that I liked. And I think that's where my love of Hawaii came from. So I have a bunch of other like dresses in here. I'm not going to show all of them, but I'll be wearing them throughout the trip. But I want to show you my, what is this called? Oh, makeup bag. My, this <laughs> is not all my makeup. <laughs> this is what I require to look like I do. Wouldn't that be awful? And I guess it's true. <laughs> this is what I require. Anyways, I got this off of Amazon also, but it's really nice because I used to pack where I had like individual bags for different things. So I would have like a bag for things I have in the shower and then I'd have another bag for makeup stuff and then I'd have another bag for hair stuff. So now I have everything in here and then this one bag will just have my loofah in it because it never fails whenever I'm packing up my stuff at the hotel, my loofah's wet and so I don't want to put it in with everything else. So I have this little like rubberized bag that I can just put it in. Unroll that thing. Show the people I'm getting what there. you got. I'm getting there. So again, this is from Amazon. I will link it down below so that you guys can check it out. They have different colors. But there's this nice zipper on the front so you can put things like makeup wipes or whatever you want unzip it and then it unfolds into all these sections check that out i think i showed this briefly on the disney wish um one of those videos i think i showed it it's nice because it has a hook you can hang it on a towel rack or just whatever kind of hooks in your hotel room but they have this bottom part here that unzips so you can take that off and i always put my makeup in this one so that i can take it off and like put it over by the vanity if there is one or somewhere else and then this one i keep all of my shower stuff mostly so I've got my shampoo and conditioner in here, body wash, face wash. I still have to add a few more things, but my vitamins are in here. And then up here, I've got my wet brush with Moana, of course. I've got more makeup wipes because they're Hawaiian. I had to get them because they're Hawaiian. <laughs> Some tinted moisturizer some facial SPF and it's like free of all the things so got that more face wash up here because I I keep one face wash in the shower and then I keep one like on the sink to wash my face in the morning some toner some um, hairspray some dry shampoo and then you gotta have like your q-tips and your cotton balls so there's that and then up here I have my toothbrush, my toothpaste, my floss and then in here I just have different like uh, medicines I've got Alka-Seltzer, some this is like a anti-itch bug stick thing just in case we encounter any kind of weird Hawaiian bugs and some teeth whitening strips and band-aids and I need to get some Tums and I need to get Advil and just kind of like your basic first aid kind of stuff and then I have to add all of my makeup in here but like it holds everything this is awesome right it holds everything it holds everything you just fold it up zip it up and you got all your stuff in one bag Staying at Halekoa and at Aulani, they're going to have beach towels and that kind of thing that you can use and rent, or not rent, but borrow for the day if you go somewhere and just bring it back. But I just wanted to make sure I had one of my own just in case. This is a sand cloud towel. You may have heard of them. You may have not. This is sand cloud. They make towels. They are super absorbent and you can shake the sand right off of them. So you know if you have if you go to the beach and you have like a terry cloth towel or just like a standard beach towel, the sand gets stuck in there and you really have to like shake it to get it off. This is just you pick it up and the sand just rolls right off. Hmm. It dries really quickly, it absorbs really nicely, it's compact so you can roll it up super tight and put it in a hiking bag maybe or a beach bag or something like that. 
So I think this is just nice to have on trips. Highly recommend. I also have a pair of tennis shoes that I'm going to take to Disneyland. And then I also found these bad boys at Target. These are Mucklucks. They're that really light foam kind of a material. But these are going to be good for hiking and then that ocean activity that we were talking about. That's what these are going to be for. I didn't want to get one of those like the water socks, which are fine. I just don't, I don't like those really. I don't want my whole foot covered, you know? So these are kind of like a alternative to that. But won't we, we, won't we be wearing fins? Yes, but whenever we get on the boat, like we're not going to be walking around on land with fins on. We're going to get on the boat and then put them on before we get in the water. Well, okay. But I'm going to wear these. To the boat? Yeah. Okay. But I also might wear these to hike in, or if we go to the beach or something, if we're like hiking up, I don't know. These are just good. I don't want to wear like leather sandals, right? Or right. like flip flops. So these are like a good active water shoe. There's a few things that I don't have in here yet. Like I have to do some laundry still. So I'm going to put some, I, I'm going to wear leggings. So like the dirty day, the dirty activity we have, mm. that sounds so weird, but you guys will understand when you see the video. <laughs> but that day I'm going to wear leggings so that my, my legs are covered, but I need to do some laundry so that I can clean them and then pack them. And then we have another travel day from Hawaii to California. Yeah. So I want to wear leggings for that too. So I need I need a couple pair of leggings. Hello there. This is a couple days later. I wanted to wait until my camera bag got in for me to show you everything that's going to go in there. Because that's going to be kind of like my carry-on slash camera gear and everything. I'm going to keep that on me at all times. None of that is going in a suitcase because it's way too valuable. But I've heard a lot of things about these Peak Design camera bags slash backpacks. And so I wanted to try one for myself and see how I liked it. Everything about it looks great. It has amazing reviews they're a little pricey but if it's worth it then it's worth it this is the bag it's pretty sleek looking and honestly it's a little bit smaller than I expected it to be which is fine with me because I don't want to be carrying around a huge bag but I did kind of expect it to be a little bit bigger I think this is the size 15 there's a 15 and a 20 I think but I chose the kind of off-white color Black is probably the most popular, and then I think there's like an ash gray that's kind of like a lighter, like mid-gray. I like creamy, kind of like softer, brighter colors, so this is the one I went with. I do really like these brown leather little details on it. So it has the, it's got the label right here, and then the handle as well. So that's really nice, it kind of elevates it a bit. It has these zippers, it's got two of them. And it goes all the way from the top to the bottom. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. I don't think I can. Because this is empty right now, so it's kind of light. But the zipper goes from here all the way up and then around the other side. And then there's another zipper as well. Because on the back, it's got your straps, of course. But then it also has this... I don't know what you want to call this here but it's just this little side slit that goes all the way through to the other side. It's meant to be put on your, like the rolling suitcase handles. So you can slide it right over the handle right there. And then when it's on your luggage, you can access it from the side, not just from the top. So that's gonna be really nice because I'm gonna have all of my camera lenses in here, all of my just everything that I need to edit, everything that I need to film anything when we're traveling and, you know, it's going to be easy to get to. It also has these little hooks, I guess, on the side. So if you have a carabiner and you want to just hook something onto it, that's right there. There's some side pouches that are actually kind of stretchy. They have these like stretchy gussets on the side. So if you have a larger water bottle, you can slide it right in there. And there's one on each side too. Closest to your back is going to be this zipper where you can slide your laptop or an iPad maybe, anything that's really flat. And if you can see right there, there's a little separation with a magnetic like closure, I guess. 
So you can slide your laptop here, maybe your iPad in there so the screens don't scratch up next to each other. And then the next one is this really shallow little pocket and it's got a little spot for maybe your phone or just your keys or your passport or anything that you need to get to really quickly. It's gonna be right there on top so you don't have to dig to the bottom of the bag for it. So if I unzip this all the way and open it up, it'll really give you an idea of what it looks like on the inside. It does have this zipper pouch on the top here. Again, if you wanna put something like keys or just something really important like cash or you know whatever you wanna put in there, there is that option. Here we go, here's the size. Everyday Backpack Zip 15L. So that's what size this is. It has these Velcro separators. So they can come apart and you can move them however you need to for whatever you have to put in here. So if you need a larger space, you can just put it down like this or just take this piece out completely because it is Velcro on both sides. There's this other inner pouch on the side, again, with a little magnetic closure and then another if you can see this a little zipper pouch right here you can divide this into I guess I would say three sections because there's a spot on the bottom here and then the middle and then the top or you could take these out and just have one big section I guess so for our trip to Hawaii, this is basically everything that I'm going to put in my camera bag. I'm also going to have things like snacks and passport and, you know, think personal things like that. But this is all the camera gear that I have. So I am going to be taking our GoPro because we're going to be doing a lot of stuff in the water. We have this little handle that floats so I don't lose it in the ocean. I also have this old camera that we brought on our Hawaii trip in 2015 so it's a little bit older but it's a Nikon Coolpix and it's waterproof so I figured that would be a good backup to have. I have to bring my Lacey external hard drive because that's when I'm going to be putting all of our footage onto. Of course I've got my camera, battery charger, this little mount for a windshield if we want to do any time lapses from our drive. This is a waterproof Pelican phone case so again if I'm going to go in the water Maybe Tim will have one of these cameras. I can hold my phone in this and then it'll be safe. I used this on the Disney cruise that we just went on last summer and it worked great. So I do recommend this. So this is my memory card holder. It's a Pelican, so nearly indestructible. This little pouch is gonna be my zoom lens. So I'm not gonna use this very often, but I do wanna bring it just in case we maybe see whales or something like that that's far away that I wanna get a better shot of. Of course, this bad boy, this is where I do all my editing and everything, so I have to bring that, because I will be doing a little bit of work on this trip. I've got my card converter too, and my AirPods so that I can work on the plane. Of course, an extra charger, and then these are all of my cords, so I've got every different kind of cord you can imagine in here. But this is a nice way to keep them organized so they don't get tangled and lost and everything else. And then of course a water bottle. I have to travel with a water bottle. I don't think that I've shown you guys this water bottle yet because I got it just recently, but I love this. This is an Owala, I think is how you say it. It is from Target. It has this nice little handle and then a button to open it. And then if you'll notice, this front little hole right here is the straw. So you can sip it or I'm not gonna do it because there's actually water in here. If you're one that likes to pour the water into your mouth, you can drink it that way too. But it's insulated, it keeps everything super cold for a really long time, and this is gonna be really good for our hikes. And in true fashion, we forgot to film an outro for this video. Hopefully we can get better at that this year. But that's it for the packing video. That's everything we took. We are back home from the trip now. This is many days later. And I will say that once we got to the airport, we had to do a little shifting because my bag was 51 pounds. And as you know, if you've flown anywhere, you can only have 50 pounds in your bag. So I think I overpacked just a little bit, but it was okay. We made it work. All was well. Everything went smoothly. And it was an awesome trip. And I hope you guys are looking forward to the videos that are coming up next because we have a whole bunch of Hawaii footage. The next video that you guys will probably see is going to be the travel video from Charleston to Hawaii. And then we've got a bunch of days at Halekoa. We went to Aulani. 
from there we went to Disneyland. We have a full day there as well. So I hope you guys are looking forward to it. Thank you guys for watching this packing video. I hope it was helpful for you. If you guys are taking a trip somewhere this spring, let us know in the comments below where you're going. But thanks so much for watching, and don't forget to always be happy, not just strong.